Hi, I'm Basim Wasif with Car and Driver. My wife is usually a pretty good sport about being in the passenger seat of a fast car in a twisty road, but sometimes she actually accuses me of trying to make her sick. Well, today we've got a 2013 Nissan GTR, and we just had a big meal. I thought I'd find out if I could really, literally make her lose her lunch. Honey, you ready to go? Let's drive. I was pretty sure my wife would regret that spicy bacon and egg sandwich she just had. But to seal the deal, I chose the most puke-inducing sports car I could think of. The positively mental supercar we've come to call Godzilla. The Nissan GTO. I'm gonna start you off easy on Kanan. It's got nice, gentle turns. Nothing too abusive. Let's see how you feel. Relaxing. Now, all those times that you accused me of really trying to make you sick, did you think I was literally trying to make you sick? Maybe. The great thing about the GTR is you don't have to try too hard to make it bouncy and jouncy and unpleasant. It's a pretty rough riding car. It's a great car, but it's not the most comfortable. So we're gonna try Mulholland on for size and see how it feels. Sometimes I kind of find it hard to believe this is a $107,000 car. I know the numbers back it up, and I know uh, the all-wheel drive gives it just incredible traction and acceleration, and all that power is probably underrated, but this interior and the clunks that are coming from the transmission and the way it kind of sounds and behaves is just a little bit rough around the edges. thing is, comfort mode really isn't all that comfortable. I'm gonna put it in sport mode. That was the comfort mode? That was comfort. <laughs> <laughs> so I really like the stretch of Mulholland that leads up to the rock store. The key to good driving is really smooth steering inputs. But you'd never guess that I'm giving it smooth steering inputs based on how this car feels. I think you're being very liberal about what you call good driving. <laughs> so I really like being able to keep track of the G's here and see what kind of damage I'm doing. What do you mean damage? <laughs> to your constitution. <laughs> This car has a lot of personality. I feel like I'm doing a dance with a seatbelt. So you've actually done pretty well on Kanan and Mulholland. Um, this is kind of my secret weapon though. Ensignal is uh, one of the more challenging roads in the area. It'll twist and wind and roll its way to the ocean. is 53 front, 47 rear, but there's so much uh, grip, there's just so much mechanical grip with the road, and then when that fails, there's so many electronic measures that are taken with the all-wheel drive system that you don't even think about how nose-heavy it is. It just kind of squirts ahead. This is one of the most capable production cars in the world, and we're on some of the twistiest roads in the world, but she's still holding down her lunch. I need another secret weapon. Stunt road. Okay, so maybe you were driving in a more relaxed fashion than I thought you were. <laughs> See? Is this what it takes for me to prove my point? This is Yerba Buena, which feels like a suspension shakedown road. So rough. Ugh. Those seats are comfortable, <laughs> even though I'm barely sitting in mine. <laughs> seats do an amazing job of holding you in. Oh. Consider it pulling over a G. I'm seeing the traction control light flashing every once in a while, but. The electronic systems work really well at masking what they're doing. 
because this car really makes you feel like a rock star if you just point and shoot it in the right direction. I don't feel like a rock star. <laughs> Maybe after a really bad bender. Even without carbon ceramics, the brakes are holding up pretty well. I don't know if I'm holding up really well. <laughs> the thing I like about this car is that just when it feels like it's kind of like overwhelmed that it's not going where you want it to go, you actually have to overdrive it to get it to do what you want it to do, and then it just kind of pulls through. All four wheels just kind of go, grr, grr, scoot forward. I'm feeling more side to side than forward. Or sideways. Sorry, Nissan, I just want to die in a Delahaye. But I bet a Delahaye would never stick to the road like this. It would be a lot easier to die in a Delahaye. <laughs> Tires are so tenacious, I'm really impressed. Even though it has bestial NVH qualities, I mean, this car just has an amazing way of holding itself onto the road. And the funny thing is, I still feel like I'm not completely using 545 horsepower. It feels like there's reserves, I'm limited by traction control. <laughs> I'm a little sorry. Just when you get out of the technical parts of the road and you get to really feel the turbocharger kick in like here, that's what the GTR is all about, is tapping into that incredible forward motion. Okay, you succeeded in making me feel awful. Feel some burbling over there? I did it.